Hi, I'm Don from Lang Specialty Trailers, and welcome to our first ever video from Lang Specialty Trailers Manufacturing. Uh, today, I have Adam and Steve Dreist, co-owners of Lang Specialty Trailers. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. You guys own your own successful event rental business. When did you decide to add rescue trailers to your business? And how quickly did it grow? Can you take that one? Yeah. Um, so, the when is easy. Uh, I remember very clearly because we got our first trailer for in the summer of uh, July 2007. I remember that date because the first setup was for his wedding on July 7, 2007. It's convenient. Yeah. Um, as to why, it was actually earlier that year. It was the spring of 2007. Uh, Steve and I were setting up a large-scale tented wedding, and a client had rented one of these restroom trailers. Uh, they could not find one anywhere. They had bring it in from Washington, D.C., which is about three hours away. Uh, up until this point, Steve and I had never seen a rescue trailer. We didn't even know they existed. You know, even really high-end events, we were using the portable chemical trailers. Uh, when this thing pulled in, Steve and I both took note of it, and when we got a chance to kind of look at it, uh, we knew right away that this was going to be the future of sanitation and the event rental side of things. I think one of the major exciting points to this was, we are out there setting up these tents, with a crew of six or eight guys <laughs> sweating to death out in the sun. The guy that delivers the trailer shows up in a pickup truck, he's in and out of there in 15 minutes, never a drip of sweat, and to find out that the rental cost on the restroom trailer was every bit as much as our entire tent rental was kind of uh, what made the decision. Yeah. Seeing, seeing how it went and seeing once we knew that this was gonna be the future, we made the decision to make that purchase as the fleet and use Steve's wedding as our kind of guinea pig trial run. Um, now you found that the event rentals and wedding venues were just one aspect. What was a much bigger aspect to where really you had an aha moment and really the, the light went off? Well, when we first started, I mean, we, we did what we knew. We added this restroom trailer to our fleet just like we would a new table or a new chair. It was just another rental item I and mean, we would recommend it to people, anybody having a tented wedding, anybody would push the trailers. And it was, it was very successful. Pretty much nobody got a, a tent or a rental without a trailer. And as our rental business grew, so did our need for more and more trailers. We kept adding trailers to the fleet each year. And it, it wasn't until around maybe 2013, 2013. that uh, we found a whole new segment to the sanitation industry that we didn't even know existed. And what that was was long-term commercial rentals. Uh, we were really lucky. We had a, a client, uh, Chevron. Uh, they have natural gas fracking sites all over, all over Western PA and Ohio, and they were contracting us to do tents and tables for these special events, and when they bring in dignitaries to see everything, and they had asked us if uh, we'd be able to supply rescue trailers for their workers, for their the, the people working on the frack site, and they not only want us to rent them the trailers, but they want us to service them. This was totally different than anything we had previously done. We uh, threw out a number, they accepted the contract, we immediately purchased more trailers, purchased pump trucks, um, learned how to do all the servicing. You know, up until now, we were outsourcing the servicing. We had septic companies pumping the trailers. So this was a whole new animal for us. Uh, but very quickly, the return on investment on this service contract was just hard to believe. And we quickly realized that we wanted to grow that side of the business more. So we began targeting not necessarily more companies like Chevron, but large uh, general contractors that do remodels, um, clients that were renting our trailers like as needed on a seasonal basis. We approached them and said, hey, why don't you rent for the whole season? Um, local banks, we got a contract with uh, Toyota. Toyota remodeled all of their showrooms in Western Pennsylvania and we did all those. It, it was, there was a ton of different clients like that, but we found it to be a very, very lucrative uh, segment of, of the industry. Awesome. So Long definitely gave us a lot better cash flow and a lot better return on investment. Um, you, you knew you were getting a check every, every month uh, for that, that service. Also allowed us to grow our fleet 
uh, you know, fairly quickly. When did you decide to start manufacturing your own chairs? Yeah, it was um, 2014, 2015. Uh, we, we built our first trailer. Kind of decided to do it because you know we were running different trailers from a bunch of different manufacturers, and there was aspects of each of these trailers that we just we didn't really understand why they why they made them the way they, they did. Um, Great example of this, probably the big, biggest example was at one point in time, we had a fresh water tank rupture in one of our trailers and we had to replace it. And this trailer had this tiny little mechanical room door and we're both staring at it looking at it thinking, how are we gonna get this thing out of here and how are we gonna get a new one in? So we finally call our sales rep and ask, like, hey, we ruptured the tank, we need to replace it, how do we fix it? And he seemed kind of befuddled as to what to do, said he'd call us back calls back eventually with the answer, you're gonna have to cut a hole in the side of the trailer, replace everything, and then patch the wall, and fix it up. You know, to us, that was just crazy that we're gonna have to you know, tear our trailer apart to get this out. So that's kind of what, all those things combined is kind of what led us to, to start to build it. Not only did they want you to do that, but it was also a custom fabricated, extruded tank that was proprietary to them. So you had to have them build you a new one of these tanks. I think we had to wait 30 or 40 days for the tank, and then you're supposed to cut the trailer in half to put it in. It was just such a, it was such a horrible scenario that that, that really helped us push us along. Strong enough with the point yeah. of So what are some of the other features and aspects of the uh, trailer that you, you incorporated into the trailer? So, when we designed our, our first trailers, uh, which I can tell you had a giant mechanical room door, we were not run into that problem. But our focus was really to design this trailer based on the restroom trailer operator and what they were going to experience, rather than from a manufacturing standpoint. Um, some of the things that we were really focused on is we wanted to make sure that this trailer was really fast and easy to clean. Uh, the setup was simple. It didn't require any tools. Uh, the trailer was durable, built to last. And then it was a compact enough trailer uh, that had the ground clearance to get in and out of the vent site without uh, causing any damage to the trailer. I, I think when we designed the Pro Series trailer, we really nailed a lot of these aspects. We continue to refine this every year based on our own field experience and um, more recently from customer feedback. So when you added these features, what did you find? What happened when you incorporated these things into the trailer? So I found I found that our, our profitability increased on the trailers, um, you know, primarily for reasons that they were easier to clean, uh, our setup times were a lot less, uh, repair time, uh, repairs were down significantly because we weren't damaging trailers coming in and out of event sites, uh, pulling jacks off of them. And also, with the, the new tools needed and the way we had changed the setups, it was easier for us to train new operators. The training was big. Um, you know, when we had multiple different vendors, trailers, uh, that was, each one was different, trying to, to educate your staff on how to install this one and that one, and this one was, it was a major problem. And they were, like Steve said, you needed different tools for each one, different hardware for each one. Uh, all the line trailers were built uniformly with the no tools concept, so from a training standpoint uh, and a inventory loading standpoint, it, it made it a lot simpler to train staff and get them up and up. So you've incorporated, you built your own trailer and you incorporated it into your fleet. What made you start selling Western Trail? So it was, uh, it was 2017 when we, we incorporated and we had a product that had been through a couple iterations and we were just really happy with the product we built. And we knew that it could, uh, it could help other restaurant trailer operators solve their pain points. Uh, and that's kind of what pushed us into deciding, hey, let's, let's open a manufacturing arm. We're getting really good at building these. We've got a good product, and I know we can help other people with this product. Okay. So both of your names, your last names are Bryce. Where did the name Lane come from? We get this all the time. Yeah, so after we decided to open the manufacturing arm, there, was, there were a lot of names thrown around, and it took us a while to come up with a name. Um, Eventually, we did settle on Lang Specialty Trailers, and kind of like Don said, we still get addressed as Steve and Adam Lang all the time, which yeah, is in our last name. But the Lang name is an acronym for our children's name. So you have Adam's children, Logan and Anna, 
and then my children, Nico and Gino, and then Adam uh, Nicholas came along. Adam's third child a little later, so he's, he now shares the end. Limited Nico. name selection for Nicholas. <laughs> so you've established your company, you're manufacturing trailers. What was your objective? We were just so excited that we came up with a product that we were passionate about that helped mm -hmm. us grow our company and that solved all of our pain points in the, the restaurant trailer rental side that we really wanted to bring this out to other restaurant trailer operators. We knew we could sol or help solve their pain points. And we knew that we came at this at the perspective of the operator rather than the manufacturer, and we'd be able to help people get their, their, their companies off the ground with our experiences. So that was kind of the main thrust behind it. I want to thank the customers that we do have, our current customers that are watching this. We can't thank you enough for your support as we've grown this business. And we uh, look forward to your continued support. If you're somebody that's watching this video that uh, may be interested in the trailer in the future, please give us a call. We'd be really excited to help you get started and help you grow your company. We, uh, we really look forward to touching base with everybody. Adam, any closing thoughts? Steve said, said it about all. I mean, we, we do keep in very close contact with our clients, and uh, that's something we do take a lot of pride in is the fact that we continue to innovate, we continue to upgrade. Um, you know, as the world changes, the industry changes, we really take it seriously when we have clients asking for something. So, hey, we'd love to see this, or we'd love to change that. Um, we, we do make a lot of upgrades each year based on feedback from customers, and we continue to make improvements and continue to improve the products uh, as we go. Awesome. Thanks, Dan. We really appreciate it. Hey, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and check us out at langrestroomtrailers.com.